Hey, happy belated Valentine's Day to you and yours. Two new concept chips from CIG celebrating Valentine's Day. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya. Two new ships out of Star Citizen celebrating Valentine's Day. At first glance, I was not too excited for either, but drilled down a bit deeper and you will see something very, very interesting. And if you don't see it, I'll explain it. Let's take a look here. Spaces for Lovers was the page. Happy Valentine's Day, Blazing Hearts and Burning Passion, blah, 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 blah. This ship has a heart on it. Now, first of all, red and whatever that silver color is, not my first choice of color schemes. Black and yellow is the most superior of all color schemes. But if you do, for some reason, want hearts on your ship, this is probably a collector's item that you do want to get. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, blah, who's going to want hearts on this ship? But as you read more into it, Look at this. <laughs> Feeling hornet. CIG, you are getting so saucy in your old age. Very well done. <laughs> Hearts of Fire, rekindle your love affair with space combat and anvils limited edition hornet F7C-M heart seeker. Blast your enemies halfway across the universe with his quartet of imposing bearing laser cannon. Isn't it romantic? Now that's actually an important point there that it is armed with laser cannons. Why? When you are far from home and you have ballistic weapons, you risk the you risk running out of ammo. But when you have laser weapons, you don't run out of ammo. All you need is enough power to keep them powered. Which brings us to discuss the components of the ship, which is the magic lies now. Uh, before we get there, uh, the, the price uh, for cash, 175 If you're using store credit, 195 More expensive than the Super Hornet. Why? We'll get to that. Also available is the Cyclone in red and the 85X with red accents on it. She is a sexy ship. Now, let's take a look at some of the stats. A big thank you to Trance Warp Drive on Reddit who posted this. He pulled the stats from a site called hardpoint.io. Go check it out. Now, Super Hornet versus the Heart Seeker. This is what kind of changed my mind on this ship and made me consider it. I still haven't bought it, by the way, but... Uh, Here's the thing, when you get the Super Hornet, your power plant is the Aegis Regulus. Its output is 1980. If you get the Heartseeker, the default power plant is the Sun Flare, which puts out 2,340 2, units of power much, much better. Heat generated way below half of what the Super Hornet does. Interesting. And it only gets better. Check this out. Shield generator. Super Hornet comes to the all stop. 1800 units. Force wall. 1876. Better. Power acquired. Better. Recharging. Better. Heat generated. Better. Better, better, better. This is a better component compared to the all stop. Weapons. Heart Seeker comes with 1 times S4 gimbaled. This can be changed to a size 5 fixed. Crazy. What kind of DPS can you expect? Well, Super Hornet, Burst DPS, 1,445. Heartseeker, almost 2,000 DPS burst. Nuts. Sustained DPS, 594. Heartseeker, 1,100. And five, this thing is a beast. Now, before you go and sell your Super Hornet, keep in mind, you can upgrade the components on your Super Hornet. All they've done here is taken the top shelf components, put them into a ship with a damn heart on it. <laughs> but you know what? I see what they've done. Uh, and if you don't want to bother with buying components in the game, if you simply want all the components on your ship right away, this is what should be tickling your fancy, the Heart Seeker is definitely not to be toyed with. It is a serious, serious fighter, even though it has a heart. Now, let's move on to what is going to be the, the second ship they bought. Now, this was interesting. Um, I don't know if you've played Elite Dangerous, but in Elite Dangerous, 
how your ship fuels is by having a fuel scoop on it. Now, you can only scoop fuel from certain types of stars. If you happen to jump into a certain area of space that doesn't have the specific type of star you need to refuel, you will run out of fuel. Why am I talking about this? Well, there's a group of people, a group of players in Elite Dangerous called the Fuel Rats. And what the Fuel Rats do is they'll come out and rescue you if you run out of fuel. This is what they do for fun, and they love it. It's very exciting if you're into that type of gameplay. At the moment, there aren't too many places in Star Citizen where you can run out of fuel, but as our universe expands and grows, there's more jump points, more systems, you can bet there's going to be some guy in his 890 jump who's going to get stranded in the middle of nowhere. What happens when that rich bastard in his 890 jump gets stranded and needs refueling? He needs to call you. He needs to call you in your SRV here to come refuel or tow him. This ship just might be a massive, massive moneymaker in the game. We don't have these game loops in yet, but when they come along, this ship might be the moneymaker you've been waiting for. If you are not into combat, this could be it. And the fuel rats in Elite Dangerous have a wonderful time doing what they do. You go out into the far reach of space, it's dangerous sometimes, and you refuel. But in this case, we can see he's also towing. Uh, there might be game loops or missions where there are abandoned wrecks in space or ships which simply can't move on their own propulsion, which require a tow. You bring the ship back to your base, you repair it, you can keep it, you can sell it. This opens up a lot of very interesting game loops. So let's take a look at what the Argo says. United Wayfarers Club. This is essentially uh, the UE version of the AAA. I love this logo, by the way. Be a real hero as humanity's presence in the stars continues to grow. So does the opportunity for disaster. That is why the UWC is always looking for reliable pilots to provide assistance and where and when it is needed most. That's where you and the SRV come in. So I've told you about the fuel rats and Elite Dangerous. This is exactly the type of gameplay that they do. And this may even bring them over from Elite Dangerous to Star Citizen to do it here too. I'd love to see that. What does this cost now? $130. Look, it is not cheap. Definitely not cheap. But I do suspect that this will be a good moneymaker in the game. You also have a $200 Argo Utility Pack War Bond. Let's take a look at what that is. For the $200 pack, you get the Argo SRV, you get the MPUV cargo and personnel. That's the, the yellow one with lifetime insurance on both. And there is the $495 package. Holy crap, what is that about? You get not one, you get two, not two, but three, but four of the SRVs with lifetime insurance. So if you have a large organization and everyone in your org is an idiot that keeps on running out of fuel and needs a tow, you probably need that pack right there. <laughs> so uh, that's that. Uh, at first look, I didn't think it would be that interesting, but upon further inspection, I can see how this could be a new aspect, new game loops in the, ga in the game that hasn't been announced or done yet. Give me your thoughts. Is this something that interests you? Will you be buying this? Your comments below, always appreciated. If you enjoyed this content, give me a thumbs up. And if you like my hat, link to the merchandise store is below. Support this channel through Patreon, link is below also. And to all my Patreon backers, thank you all for your continued support. I much appreciate it. As always, subscribe, you bastards. I'll see you in the next one.